still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. <laughs> Better to be one man living the truth than a million living a lie. Let me tell you something. Easy. Now, you all know that most of us old-timers, we fought alongside each other. Third Lemoyne Regiment. The summer of 62. We was hunkered down by Copperhead Landing for weeks. It was a terrible time. It was terrible. Food was rotten. Humidity was unbearable. Nothing we had ever got dry. But we knew that sooner or later the enemy would be coming down the line of Hachi if they wanted to take San Denis. And sure enough, one morning, we woke to the distant sound, the boom of a cannon. Next thing you know, there's grenades raining down on us, modified artillery shells, leaving man with the most horrific wounds. It's like nothing you've ever seen. And then I get blown up into the air, and I'm as high as a house. And then everything goes black. And then I come to in a cloud of smoke. I think I must be at the gates of hell. And then it clears. And I see a swarm of them damn blue bellies. They're not 20 feet from me. I ain't got no rifle, I ain't got no gun, I ain't got no nothing. So I just turn and I run at them. And they raise their rifles and they fire, but it don't make no sound. Their powder was too damn. So I get in there and I take them with my fist one by one until I know they're dead. And I just walk out of there as calm as the night. Something's only lost if you let it be. And as far as I can tell, you're all still breathing. Even though you're a bunch of lifeless saps. So buck the hell up! You hear me? What the hell? Very 